Ever wondered if babies can eat mushrooms? Well, hello there, I'm a mushroom and I'm here to introduce myself to a baby. Now, I know, I know, you're probably thinking, a talking mushroom? That's the last thing I need. But bear with me here. You see, I'm not just any old part of the food chain. I'm a veritable treasure trove of nutritional goodness. Packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals, I'm like a miniature health food store all on my own. And get this, I have a nifty trick up my cap. When I'm exposed to sunlight, I can increase my vitamin D content. How's that for a party trick? So, you see, I'm more than just a tasty meal. I'm packed with all the good stuff your baby needs to grow strong and healthy. Now, you might be wondering when is the right time to introduce me, the mushroom, to your little one. Well, let me tell you, as a mushroom, I am more than eager to join your baby's diet as soon as they start exploring solid foods. Yes, you heard it right. Your little one can start enjoying the delightful flavor and nutritional benefits that I, the mushroom, offer from around six months of age. Ah, I see that surprised look on your face. But it's true. Mushrooms are packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. And wait, there's more. We mushrooms are a good source of vitamin D, which can be increased by exposing us to sunlight. How cool is that? Now let's talk about texture. For babies between 6 to 9 months, it's important to serve mushrooms with a soft texture. No one likes a tough chew, especially not those adorable little munchkins who are just starting their food journey. As your baby grows and their feeding ability improves, you can introduce mushrooms cut into small, baby-friendly pieces. We're talking about babies over 9 to 12 months here. Remember the key is to make sure the pieces are small enough for your baby to handle and chew without any difficulty. And once your baby is over 12 months, the culinary world is their oyster, or should I say their mushroom. From this age, you can continue to include mushrooms in various recipes and combinations. Whether it's a mushroom puree, a mushroom pasta, or even a mushroom pizza, there's no limit to how you can incorporate me into your child's meals. And trust me, we mushrooms don't mind being the star of the show or playing a supporting role. We're pretty versatile like that. So when it comes to introducing mushrooms to your baby's diet, remember timing is everything. Start slow, keep it soft, and always ensure the pieces are small and manageable. After all, good things come to those who wait, and in this case, it's a world full of delicious, nutritious mushrooms. Now, let's talk about how to prepare me for your baby's meal. As you may already know, mushrooms are a wonderful addition to your baby's diet, but they need to be prepared in a specific way to ensure they are safe and easy for your little one to consume. The key to unlocking my full potential for your baby's meal is cooking. Why, you ask? Well, cooking me softens my texture, making it easier for your baby to chew and digest. Now let's dive into the cooking methods. If your baby is just starting on solid foods and is between 6 and 9 months old, you might want to consider pureeing me. Simply cook me until I'm soft and blend me into a smooth consistency. This puree can be easily mixed with other foods like mashed potatoes or applesauce for a nutritious meal. But what if your baby is a bit older and is learning to feed themselves? In that case, baby-led weaning comes into play. Here you can slice me into thin, manageable strips after cooking. These strips are perfect for those little hands to hold and munch on. While we're on the topic of preparation, it's crucial to talk about sourcing. Not all mushrooms are created equal, and some wild variants can be toxic. So always ensure you're getting me from a credible source. Your local grocery store or farmer's market are great places to start. You might be wondering about the different parts of the mushroom. The good news is, all parts of me can be eaten by babies. Just remember to wash me thoroughly before cooking. This ensures that any dirt or potential pesticides are washed away, leaving me clean and ready to be cooked into a delicious meal for your little one. So there you have it, the ins and outs of preparing mushrooms for your baby's meal. From cooking to sourcing, every step is crucial in ensuring the safe consumption of mushrooms by your baby. Remember, safety first. Always ensure I come from a reliable source and am prepared properly. I bet you're curious if I, the mushroom, could cause allergies to your little one. Well, relax, because generally speaking, I'm not a common allergen. That's right, most babies can safely enjoy me without a worry in the world. However, just like with any food, there's always a small chance that some babies might react differently. If you suspect an adverse reaction after your baby has had a taste of me, don't hesitate to contact a pediatrician. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry. And while we're on the topic of safety, let's talk about choking hazards. You'll be pleased to know that I'm not considered a high-risk choking food. But, and this is a big but, it's absolutely essential to serve me in a safe size and shape for your baby. For those little ones between 6 to 9 months, a soft texture is best. 
once they hit the 9 to 12 month mark, I can be served cut into small, baby-friendly pieces. And for those over 12 months, the culinary world is their oyster, or should I say, mushroom. However, regardless of age, always ensure I'm cooked well before serving. Raw mushrooms can sometimes have a chewy texture that might not be ideal for your baby's palate or their little teeth. In conclusion, while I'm mostly friendly and a fantastic source of nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals, it's always a good idea to keep an eye out for any unusual reactions. After all, every baby is unique and what works for one might not work for another. So go ahead, introduce me to your baby's diet, but as always, do it with care and caution. Finally, let's bust some myths about me, the humble mushroom, and babies. You've probably heard a few tall tales about us that might have made you think twice about introducing us to your little ones. I'm here to set the record straight, one spore at a time. First up, the constipation myth. Some seem to believe that mushrooms cause constipation in babies, but there's no evidence to back this up. In fact, I'm packed with fiber which can actually help keep your baby's digestive system running smoothly, so no need to worry about your baby's bowel movements on my account. Next, let's tackle the botulism issue. Now I understand why this would be a cause for concern. Botulism is a serious illness, especially for babies. However, rest assured I don't contain botulism. It's a bacteria found in soil and dust, not in mushrooms. Finally, the teething myth. I've heard whispers in the woods that I'm beneficial for teething babies. While I'm flattered, it's simply not true. I'm soft and chewy, particularly when cooked, and I don't offer any particular advantage to babies who are teething. Remember, it's always important to consult with a pediatrician or a trusted health professional if you have any concerns or questions about introducing new foods to your baby's diet. And while I'm not a doctor, I can assure you that I, the mushroom, am a safe and nutritious addition to your baby's diet. So, why not introduce us? Before we part ways, here are some final thoughts. Mushrooms, those humble fungi, are not just a delicious addition to meals, but also a powerhouse of nutrition. They're packed with vitamins, minerals, and fiber, making them a great choice for your little ones as they start exploring solid foods. And remember, they are also a good source of vitamin D, especially when exposed to sunlight, offering an added benefit for your baby's health. But variety is the spice of life, and this is true for your baby's diet as well. While mushrooms are a fantastic option, be sure to introduce your baby to a smorgasbord of foods. This will help ensure they're getting all the nutrients they need, and will also make mealtimes an exciting adventure for them. And don't forget, always make sure your mushrooms come from a reliable source and are properly washed and cooked for your little one. This will keep mealtimes safe, healthy, and fun. Now that you know all about me, I hope we'll meet again soon in your baby's meal. Until then, happy feeding.